Happy Sunday, everyone. This is Derek the Nitwit. Welcome to any new people, and welcome back to all my wonderful subscribers. Um, weather is a little bit cooler today. It's nice and rainy out there. I'm just enjoying the chilly weather. I have finally turned my air conditioner off. I haven't turned the heater on yet, although I did briefly use my electric blanket for about half an hour this morning. The cats like it when I turn the electric blanket on. I am healing quite nicely from the dentist on this past Wednesday. It's still a little bit sore. Um, I'm obviously not eating on that side of the mouth yet. I'm still on the right side. I don't actually have the partial in right now. Ever so often I get these random bouts of claustrophobia and I've just got to get it out of my mouth. So, you know, it's not that it's hurting. It's just I'm just not used to something in my mouth constantly and I play with it and I irritate myself with it. Plus, I don't like the lisp. And I know that the more I keep it in, the more I talk with it in, the better the lisp will get. And there are times that I don't actually have a lisp. I think it's just when I'm getting tired and when I'm getting frustrated with it, that's when the lisp comes back. So, I'm just taking a break from it now, and it's not, I mean, I kind of have to smile pretty big for you to be able to see it, so, and I don't generally smile that big anyway. So, Thursday was therapy day. It went well. Um... And Little Miss, of course, you know, she goes to therapy with me, and she didn't swipe at anybody today, so, or this, this week, so she's doing good. She likes the, she likes my therapist, or at least she puts up with my therapist, and she actually let my therapist hold her, and she's climbing on stuff now. And I always, she gets a special snack when we go to therapy, it's the only time she gets it, and the therapist gives it to her, or, you know, I, I have the therapist give it to her. And so, you know, she puts up with a the therapist at least long enough to get her snack or her treat. So, Friday was my sister's court date. She, her name change went through, no problem. Um, I think she was, get, okay, I have a drawer on my desk. The little miss figured out, like, she has all these little sparkly mylar bars, and I get sick of them everywhere because she gets every single one of them out all at once, and they're all over the place. And so I got to where I started putting them in a desk drawer. To put them, you know, I put them up and I put it that because she doesn't need 20 mylar balls out at once. And she figured out that's where I was putting them and she figured out how to get into the desk drawer. And she'd open and pull them out. So I moved them to a different spot. And she still keeps going back to that one. And they just replaced my refrigerator and so I took all the magnets down and stuck them in the desk drawer. Well, she plays with the magnets and she was playing with them when they're in the fridge. But now that they're in the drawer, she keeps going after there. So that's what she's doing in there is digging for the magnets. She's earning her nickname. So anyway, my sister's court date, it went fine. She was a lot more anxious about it than she needed to be, but, you know, she hadn't been in that situation before. She did well. Um, Monday, you know, of course, you know, we have, we have our group therapy on Monday afternoons, but before that, we're going to Department of Vital Stats for them to actually amend the birth certificate to show the new name. And then we've go to DMV to get driver's license updated and go to social security office to get that updated. Um, and all the other little housekeeping things probably stop. If we have time, we'll stop by one or two. I think she's got two bank, two different bank accounts we have to go to and, a, and update. So we'll do those on Monday. Um, yeah. But also, you know, Saturday I had my no pants day or no people day, which also, anytime it's a no people day, it's also a no pants day, which basically just means I stayed in pajamas all day. And did nothing but watch YouTube and knit on Chuck's hat. That was the only project only that I did the last week. Oh, a little over a week. It's the only thing I did. You know, and I usually have a ton of projects on, so it was driving me bonkers just getting on done. You know, I've got, I don't know if you can, oh, by the way, where my camera is. You can see that? I always, I, I stabbed my finger. And now, I have a, I don't know where it went. Um, I have a thimble. It's like a little ring. They're actually got so used to wearing this thing, like, I mean, I went to the courthouse and made it through the metal detector wearing my little thimble and whatnot. It just went everywhere with me. And 
I think I fell asleep with it one day and just happened I still have it on the next morning. But hat is done. I've got a video showing me showing up the hat. Um, I'll tag that on, attach that on at the end of this video, so y'all can see the hat. We need to get a little, a little um, furry puff balls to put on the bottom. And I told him, you know, he can do that himself. And he also wants to add a button on the thing where, where it's either for, um, like, appearance or to adjust the size a little bit. So his husband, David, can put that on there for him. And they also want to do, like, little, kind of to make it look like it's old, like an older style hat. Older, not older style, but an older hat. So we're going to make some little like knit patches or even little fabric patches attached to it. But that's stuff that's easy to do. Get that taken care of. Um, no plans this Tuesday. I'm going to sit at home, be a hermit, enjoy myself, try and knock my YouTube queue down. I am, I've got 250 videos in my YouTube queue. And so I'm running not quite a week behind and I want to try and get it down a little bit lower and Wednesday maintenance I've got maintenance coming to replace the floor in here because after it rained a couple months ago it's like I don't know if the house settled or what but the flooring like the laminate whatever fake hardwood stuff it's got hills and valleys and whatnot so this, I don't know if I've ever shown you that. I, this is, was, I was first learning to crochet and getting into the amigurumi. It's a pattern called an ideal sphere. And they've got from, I think, 10 row spheres. It might be 15 row spheres, up to 30. And it's funny because this is the same 30 row as I've got another one using different size yarn that's, you know, significantly larger. But my cats keep taking these and using them as cat toys, which... What else am I going to do with them? So, um, I am now, since I'm done with his hat, which I'm not, okay, let me say glitter. You know, like, glitter, which glitter is this horrible, evil thing that's just not good for the environment anyway, because all it is is just plastic, and it doesn't ever go anywhere. But glitter is the herpes of the craft world. I mean, you get glitter somewhere, it's, you're going to have it forever. I have nothing glittery in my house, and I still find glitter on me every so often. Don't know where it comes from. But, say so that, this fuzz, or that part of his hat, there is fuzz everywhere. My couch is covered. And I have swept, like, twice, once after I was done with the hat. And there's still white fuzz from that hat everywhere. So I'm going to be sweeping up Chuck Fuzz for a very long time. I told him that, you know, because once, once it was actually knit up, knit into the hat, it was almost like a solid fabric. There was, you couldn't tell it was knit because, you know, it was just, it was knit so tightly. So it's not shedding from that. But from the inside where I had where I had to tie off, you know, from yarn changes, I told him he needs to turn the hat inside out and probably go in and strip the rest of the, the fuzz off of those, you know, yarn ends. Otherwise, every time he takes the hat off, it's going to look like he's got some massive dandruff. But now that I am done with that, or at least done knitting it, I'm not done with the fuzz. I'll never be done with that. I get to go back to crocheting. This is the... Um, this is uh, Bag of Days pattern. When it was, this was her Taste the Rainbow Crochet pattern for a scarf. Um, so I just get a couple rows in. She's got the tutorial, and I believe in my last video, or not the last one, but the last Sunday's video, I linked. I could have been going for that. Anyway, I've, I've linked the video, I know that much, uh, for the tutorial, but I went ahead and printed off. You know, I purchased the pattern from Etsy and printed it off. And it's so much easier. I just use my little post-it note flags to remind myself, you know, which row I'm on. And it makes it a lot easier. Of course, I moved that, and now I suddenly can't remember the last one I did. 
I'm an idiot. Okay, y'all saw how quick I had that off, right? I've already forgot which row I was on, which I'm going to just pull a stitch out and I'll be able to figure it out. But, so that's what I want. So I'm working on that. Hopefully, get to that done fairly quickly. Because I'm going to Mexico. My sister likes to spend a lot of time in Cozumel. And since she's been sick, she hasn't been down there. But she wants to go back. And she doesn't want to, her first time going back. She doesn't want to be alone. So I get to go with her. Yay. Plus, I'm going to get two dental crowns done while I'm down there. Because it's half the... Her dentist is half the cost of the cheapest dentist I could find up here for a crown. So I'm going to get two of them done down there, and then hopefully the rest of my teeth will wait until I can afford to get them done. So we are flying down January 8th, and I fly back the 18th. And maximum effort, my little cat, the, the bigger cat, the one that you don't see on the you might hear him on the videos occasionally, but you don't see him as often. He is going to go spend the 10 days at with David and Chuck. Little Miss is going to Mexico with me. So, they get she gets to go to get their little, you know, her vet passport beginning of next month. And then we'll fly down. Max went when I went last year. So, take Little Miss. I'm curious to see what kind of what she'll be like when it's just me and her because when it's like during the, like when I have my sister's over or someone's over here Max will hide for the most part for or like my, even when my sister comes over and he's used to my sister he'll hide for the first half hour to an hour that she's here either in the bathroom or under the couch and so when he's off being his little antisocial self little miss is playing with everything and just doing you know Playing with toys that she doesn't normally play with and she's just you know way different than when it's just the three of us you know home alone and they both sleep for the most part during the day and then pick up a little bit in the evenings and then turn into little crackheads at night um so i'm curious to see what she'll be like when it's when we're in mexico and it's just me and her and max isn't around She's in her cave. Um, so, but anyway, so that's all I've been up to this week was just that hat. Now that I'm done, do the happy dance. Yay. But I do want to um, make sure everyone is aware of this. A new channel that we found is um, Charlene's Crochet Corner, and I want to post a link to her down below. She is, if I remember correctly, a... She worked as a nurse, but she's not able to work anymore. And so she's doing, you know, you know, crocheting. But she's getting into YouTube, kind of, you know, because, you know, we do have a good community with the, the our, little, um, our YouTube videos, our vlogs and whatnot, our tutorials. And so she's just getting started out, needs the, needs the community, needs the followers. She's at 59 subscribers right now. So if you could go over, check her out, um, give her a follow, you know. If you're not if you're watching this you're not subscribed to me i'd appreciate if you subscribe to me as well make sure you put the bell on for both of the channels that way you get notified whenever we upload and just you know, check her out see what she's like um and then you know oh i'm gonna make everyone motion sickness i hit the camera um you know take care of yourself this week we're getting into you know we're not getting into we're in the holiday season you know People get crazy this time of year. Take care of yourself. Don't stress yourself out too much. Just, you know, just relax and have fun and, you know, show me what y'all guys are up to and, you know, are you knitting or are you crocheting? Are you, you know, doing different craft projects? You know, what, you know, what are you up to? Just let me know. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you're up to and I will talk to you guys again in a couple days. everyone welcome to my bathroom i'm just a quick video look at that done and see if you can see how oh, long i'm going the wrong way long it is it's not quite to my well, kind of to my waist but i'm short trunk anyway we need to get a fuzzy ball or something to put on top of it because i'm not going to try and make it out of the white yarn 
Oh, and who is calling me? Hang on. Potential spam. Not answering that one. Um. So, yeah. So, that's the hat. Um, I'm going to give it to Chuck. He's coming over. And I'll try and get a clip of it. So, of him. Yeah, it's falling off my head when I do it that way. He's His head's a little bit bigger than mine, so it should fit him perfectly. And you can always fold... I seriously can't do this one-handed very well. If I fold that, the brim looks just as fine. Sorry, got my hand out of the way. And it makes it a little bit tighter on me. He's gonna he wants to add some buttons to it, which I'll let him figure that part out. Anyway, I'll check with y'all again in a little bit.